welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my subscribers that has been with, with me from the start and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me, with us, growing a big family that we are by hitting that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. Up top, there's three little buttons you can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also turn your CC for closed caption on every stitch I read will be, not read, every stitch I say will, you can read down here and take notes. In the description box, I do have a link. You can just click there and it shows you how you can do all of these things in two minute video that I have created. I also want to thank every single one of you for 2022 that have came through to help the women in need of thread that have sent thread themselves or have donated money for them. Thank you so much. I am so grateful and so are they. I also want to thank the women that have tagged me along creating my pieces. Thank you so much. And for the ones that are creating, please don't forget to tag. I do have a private crochet group. You are more than welcome to join in. Be part of the family with us there as long as you have a profile. There's too many scammers and too many frauds going on with the crochet groups nowadays. They're getting in there and they're scamming everybody out of their information through uh, mobiles or computers. They have links that says cut or bit. Don't open those links. These are hackers. They're scammers. Stay away from that. For that reason, my group is private. I also have a Facebook um, crochet page you can follow. I have Instagram and I have TikTok. All of these links are below in the description box. So thank you so much, everybody. And let's get started with the tutorials. I hope you're going to enjoy uh the tutorials for 2023. I have just launched two videos that I have started already 2023. So stay in good health, stay in good harmony with everyone, and don't be hard on yourself. You can create all things as long as you set your mind to it. Okay? I send you much loves and hugs. I pretty much finished doing my avalanche, avalanche, whatever the way you call it, and I did the measurement exactly what I needed for my rod in my tub, in my shower, which is 180 centimeters. Now, how are you going to proceed to know how many motives of these that you need for your measurement? So you measure your rod and you measure, because depending upon your thread and on your uh, tension, you measure from here to here, okay, from where you have the two rows of the square to here, so you know that's one motive, and you measure that. I have 14 centimeters from here to here. So you measure yours, and you times that, um, the, you know, the amount that you will need. Like in my case, I needed 13. So 13 times um, 14 it gives me 180 something which I I need 180 now if you wanted to plead a little bit more pleading then you can add a few more of these so you can have some pleads in it now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do green um, all around and then that will combine with the rest of my um, flowers and things like that that I'm going to add to the uh, edges here like I mentioned so I'll be putting some some different um, daisies on the edge and blue or gray something like that that matches my curtain okay so basically on the top of the rod so the top part obviously because this is the top part so basically all you do is single crochet, you can do half crochet, it's, it's really up to you. And one thing I did is um, you're supposed to end the same way as you started, like here. We started with two rows, but I ended mine with one. I didn't want um, more of it. I want it because my rod makes an L shape. So I want that part to be tucked in. Okay, but you can do you you can do the two 
um, the two ways exactly how you started. You have to finish with the two rows. Okay, so I'm going to come in on my corner here. This is the top part, uh, top portion, okay? With a single. And another single. This is the corner, okay? And then next space. Single. And then single again. Now, like I said, you can do halves or singles or... You know, you can create peacocks if you'd like. I'm going to do that, but only at the edges. So I'm doing two singles per space. Now, depending upon your tension, if your tension is too tight, then you can do three singles inside of the space, okay? There's no rule for this. You have to go accordingly to your uh, tension. So basically... In each, um, in each double crochet here we have, we're doing two singles per space, okay? So I'm going to continue mine, and then I'll meet you, um, I'll meet you at the end when I finish doing all of the top here with the singles, okay? Okay, you guys, so I've done all the top of my curtain I've done my two on the last one now to make sure that I get a straight line I'm gonna do one more so we have three four and five so now we'll have a nice curve there we're gonna do the same thing um, on the side okay so your curtain is this way so we're going to do the singles also on this side. So I'm just going to come in where I have the double crochets and do a single, a single per space. And I try to keep thinking of the name and it's Valance, right? Valance curtain. And I was thinking Avalanche and all kinds, but the, I think the um, Avalanche curtain is the big one, right? So this is Valance. I think that's what it is if I looked good into Google. Sometimes I have to go into Google to translate it. Okay, so inside of the space here, we're doing two. I'm trying to see if I don't, if I need to do maybe, um, maybe not. I don't know. Let me see. One, two, without tightening too much. I probably have to do three. I'm not sure. No, maybe it's okay. I'm loosening it up a little bit. I'm not tightening too much so it can fit there perfectly and it won't pull too much now. But if you need to do three singles, go ahead, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean because we're doing two per space that your tension is the same as mine. So if you need to do three singles inside of the space then you can go ahead and do it. So this is the side curtain. The other side will be the same way as we're doing here. And then one per space here on the double crochet. Now it's going to change up a bit here on the front, okay, where it pretty much hangs that motive. So I am on the last, and I'm coming right in. Okay, so I'm going. Okay, you guys, so we're almost arriving on the corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a flower here on the corner. So I'm skipping these three and I'm coming directly into the corner. Okay, so we have one, two, three. And then you have the last one, which is the corner one, four. So I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to do three chain. Pick up, come back in, double crochet, three chain, pick up. These flowers will be done only at the edges of the corners, okay? One, two, three chain, pick up, come back in, 
three chain one two three and picot so now I have four picots and five chain I'm gonna come directly in between the motive like that okay I'm going to do one chain and I'm not going to tighten up too much. I'm going to come directly into the corner here again, create a double crochet, three chain. If you find that it's pulling too much on your end, because sometimes you guys have a very extremely tight. So I had done one chain. I'm going to take out my one chain. I'm going to come into the next double crochet here. You can come again into the next double crochet if it's better for you. So we have one, two, three, and I'm coming directly in. I think it will probably be better this way. One, two, three, because I know some of you, your, your tension is so tight that it's going to crumple up. And I better do it this way. I think I'm understanding quite a bit of few of you because of your messages right so again we're going to do four picots and five double crochets at the corners okay so very simple one two three And there it is again okay so we're going to come directly where we have the corner one there and then do single single and we have one two three and come in the fourth one because it's going to lie there no matter what we don't want it to be pulling up too much on it either okay and continue to do the same thing as we just did there Okay, we've come to the edge of the motive and we're going to do the flower right on the edge. So we're going to do a single for each space here, okay? Because then it would look funny if we do two flowers on both edges. That won't look pretty. So I'm coming in, single per space, okay? And then I'm coming in between here the two of them and I'm doing double crochet chain three and you continue to do your four picots and five double crochets Okay, so I've done my four picots and my five double crochets and I'm just closing it in that corner and then one single per space and we're going to repeat everything like we just did on this side. I'll show you in a second. So you're going to come directly. So we're right in the right exactly the same thing as we have here so we're going to repeat these so right from the motive the two motive you do your double crochet already and your picot very simple nothing to it okay so that's how we're going to do and then we're just going to repeat it the same way as we have here okay so let me turn it around so you can have an idea how pretty this looks. Then we're just going to continue here and here and then singles. And then we're going to come again here. But I'll meet you here just to make sure, okay? Okay, you guys. So we're pretty much almost arriving here where it separates both, all right? Now, I'm going to count one, two, on the third one, I'm going to close it in. So we can have a nice flat flower line there and then do singles, okay? 
if that makes sense to you. Because if we don't do that and we go directly, it's going to pull for you guys. I know it is. So, so we're in the middle here now. I'm going to do one, two on the double crochet because we're on the center between the two motives. Okay. And I'm going to do one, two, and three. So we have one, two, three, and you know on the fourth one, so we repeat the same thing again and create the flower. You're going to repeat the same way all the way to the other edge and then complete your edge like we have here. And we're pretty much done with the curtain. I'm going to do mine. And once I am done, I'll come back to you to tell you how I'm going to add my flowers. It's optional for you if you want to do flowers or not. If you are deciding to do flowers, you will need the hot gun glue, transparent glue, not the white one, because when you wash, it will come out. With the transparent glue, I don't know what it is, but it grabs well into the fibers, not unless you have um, material glue, then it's up to you, okay? And then you would continue on again. And like I said, if you find that it's, you know, like don't tighten your your stitch too much or you're going to have a hard time with it so again you you come in with a single you do three chain you have one two three and you go directly so it's almost like you're lying down that double crochet here okay so i'm going to continue mine just going to pull it here like that so you can see what it looks like okay And this is how it's coming out the curtain. Okay. Fix my flowers properly. I'll meet you at the end. If you need to rewind, go ahead. If you need to slow down the video, go ahead. And I'll meet you at the end. Just want to remind you that when you're coming down, you must do the same thing as you did here. So you have to skip one, two, three, and come in the fourth. One, two, three. One, two, three, and you must come in the fourth. So you have, what is it? Three. So you have three singles, okay? You cannot, you have to do exactly the same thing. I'm almost forgetting that part. So they can look the same on both sides, right? And then again... Then you would go directly into the corner and create your flower again. I don't like the way that looks, so I have to put it right in the corner. Let's try that again. So we're going to come here in the corner so it can look normal. And like I've mentioned, you could also do just single crochets if you don't want to do none of this. Either with whatever color matches, whatever you're putting. This is not necessarily just for the, the rod on the bathroom. You could put this on any little window with you know like half the launch and then half of whatever other curtain you have you know i mean i'm this is done for my rod because somebody had asked for it requested it so i'm doing it this way but you can do this for any window you like okay so don't forget again you would have to repeat the same thing you skip one two, three, and you come into the fourth, and you have to do your one, two, and you have to go into the fourth. 
So you'll do your three singles and how to make sure because you have to connect here. So you have one, two, and three. Okay, so one, two, and three. It's probably better for you to do your count. And like this, you're going to have the flat leaves perfectly in order. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing my balance curtain, which is perfect for any window in your house. This case is for the uh, bathroom um, rod for the shower. Now, I prepared all my flowers, so I suggest if you're adding flowers on, prepare them all. So I have the bigger ones, the daisies, and I have the smaller one. And I'm going to add three on here. So I'm going to do it like one here, one there, or whatever way you want to use it. Or maybe you don't want to use it. I don't know. Put like the bigger one here. And for some reason, my, well, for some reason, my hot gun glue exploded on me. The motor went. So I do have some. I have never tried it, but I'm going to try it this time for now until I get to the store tomorrow and get the hot gun glue. Um, but I have this uni universal uh, glue for pretty much anything. I'll see how this works. I don't know. I've never tested it, but it's always good to test things and see how that works. So I'll be adding these flowers, my daisies like that, and then on to the next pattern the same way. So... Put a big daisy on the bottom and the smaller one up top here like that. And you don't have to um, use any flowers at all if you don't want to. But if you want to, you can decorate whatever way. You can put three the same color, different sizes. I will leave the link to the daisies in the description box. And I have a tutorial that I have done on the same video, the big one and the small one. So it's just perfect for you guys. And I will have a little video at the end or pictures or, you know, whatever. So this does it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much to every single one of you. Not forgetting that you can go the size you want on this. I mean, the length because it's done uh, the by the, the whiteness of the curtain. Okay, so... I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If you're creating my pieces, don't forget to tag me along. Share the video. Help grow the, the channel. And thank you to every single one of you. I send you much love, much hugs. God bless. Until next time. Bye-bye, everyone.